WFNN. Headline News Update. Hello, it's Basil Chapman here and this Tiger Financial News Network 11 a.m. Eastern Time Market Update on the seventh day, Thursday, April. And we're looking at the Dow down 200 points at 34,293. It's almost a one to one. You know, here at TFNN, uh, we kick off at nine o'clock with uh, this is the market kickoff with Tommy O'Brien Jr. We go all the way to Tom Sr. at wrapping up three o'clock to four. And everyone here talks about the one to one. A lightning bolt pattern where you go from an A to B equals C to D. I call them in the Chapman Wave methodology just the lower troughs. In this particular instance, we've gone from the 35,372 level down to the 1st of April, uh, 34,533. Then that sudden big spike up to 35. 112 and today's low is 34,469. You've almost got the one to one to the downside. This is where there should be some kind of support coming in. Let's see if that's the case by the end of the day. A little bit of strength to come in to get off the lows. That's going to be important. But you've got a mixed market. Talking about a mixed market, look, here's the SP down six, only six at 440, 447, uh, four, sorry, 44.74. Under the 14 period moving average, the QQQ is showing nice relative strength, although it's down now. It was up earlier quite nicely. It's at 350 uh, with a resistance at 358 in the 200 period moving average. I must mention this the IYT, you can't ignore the fact that the IYT has just plunged. It's as if some Horrible news about energy has come out in the last week, and it's gone. The YYT Transportation Index has gone from the 276 level on the 29th of March with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huge red candles, except for one little doji candle right at the 200 period moving average to check it out for, for strength. It didn't. So, this is almost, uh, I mean, what a move down to 240. That is a really big move in a week and a half, so you, ca you ca can't ignore it. But at the same time, you've got some areas of strength, certainly in the defensive stocks. But if you're looking at gold, it's stuck in a range. It's trading up 16, but it's still within a fairly narrow range. Crude oil had a huge move to the upside. Now it's just digesting those huge gains. It's up uh, 43 cents at 96. This is really important. Together with the transports, we've seen a plunge in bonds, which means that yields are screamed to the upside. All of that is really negative. And yet, when you look at the market right now, we should be way, way lower. So either that's about to come, or in fact, it's, it's a rotational correction that we're looking at. I'm in the rotational correction camp for the moment. Stay tuned, you've got a great programming coming up all day and check out my open and call my daily newsletter. And I will see you. Don't forget my webinar coming up on Wednesday the 13th. Have a wonderful